Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Chris the Don One, and I am back with another video. There's a potential rumor floating around NBA circles that suggests that the Minnesota Timberwolves want to trade Big Cat Carl Anthony Towns. The possibility of him being traded uh, this offseason, by the way, to several teams. It's astonishing to me, you know, had a, ma a magnificent uh, season. And to understand Carl Anthony Towns, you, you have to look at the risk and the rewards. This guy is explosive offensively. He can do just about anything. He reminds me of DeMarcus Cousins without the attitude or the baggage. The guy can uh, shoot 20 foot ju uh, uh, jumpers, excellent at the free throw line, uh, has the potential uh, to shoot threes, uh, put his back against the basket. He's great there. The perfect uh, five that can play the four and can also play some three, some three. Okay. Uh his dribbling skills, his ball handling skills are also excellent as well. But there's a there's a problem in the Minnesota uh, Minnesota organization, and it's quickly how people forget. And the only thing people remember is what ha what transpired a couple of weeks ago when the Minnesota Timberwolves got bounced, and Carl Anthony Towns didn't have. A great series uh, in the playoffs. And now, uh, Tibolo, as well as the Minnesota organization, is exploring these possibilities. And once again, they are rumors. Now, I'm going to go through the teams that are linked uh, with the Minnesota T Timberwolves of trading Carl Anthony Towns. But before we begin, uh, the, the, the problem with uh, Thibodeau is he's the type of coach he can wane on you. I mean, it's okay for, you know, it's okay to go through the hustle, the journey, the grind with Thibodeau. But a season with Thibodeau is like five seasons. Uh, he really weighs on you. And sometimes he's, he wears out his welcome. And that explains the reason why he was very successful in the early stages of Chicago as coach there. But as the years go go on, a lot of those players started, you know, uh, having issues with Tibolo. And a lot of people also said he really works uh, the players really hard in practice to the extent where he wears them out. OK, uh, but let's explore these options. I'm not going to explore the Phoenix option. I don't think uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves are going to trade with Phoenix unless they are extremely desperate. The Sacramento Kings, if they are extremely desperate, if no team in the East is going to give them a better deal. Uh, I, I don't see the Minnesota Timberwolves wanting to see Carl Anthony Time, or Carl Anthony Towns, excuse me, uh, three games a year. Okay, um, I think they're going to, if they're going to trade him, which I don't think they are, but if they're going to trade uh, trade him, they're going to trade him uh, in the Eastern Conference. Uh, there are some scenarios where it's a possibility that uh, the Boston Celtics can uh will want to package uh, uh their first round draft pick of this year as well as Jalen Brown or another package uh with a couple of draft picks and Kyrie Irving uh you know those two packages for Carl Anthony Towns um Jalen Brown I don't think uh the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to give up on him and I think they like their flexibility, even though having Carl Anthony Towns is a plus. But the way how Danny Ames is orchestrating these trades, he's not going to give up a lot of talent. And he's going to somehow, some way, finesse the game, finesse the hustle. And not only keeping his talent, but uh, adding more talent 
to, uh, to this base like he did with the Cleveland Cavaliers. So I, I, I don't see that in the fold. Okay. Um, there, there was another trade of where, um, uh, th th there's another trade where the Orlando Magic might be interested in Carl Anthony Towns, but the Orlando Magic really don't have enough uh, for the Phoenix Suns. All right. So uh, those are the possibilities. I'm going to give you my theory on it. I really don't see Carl Anthony Towns being traded uh, away from the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, he still... Uh, is playing under his rookie contract, and he fulfilled that contract uh, beyond. They got more out of Carl Anthony Towns. They got more of an investment out of him in his rookie deal. And one could say when he signs his max deal, the sky is the limit. Um, I, I think if you trade Carl Anthony Towns now, you're pretty much giving up on the potential there. You know, he struggles on defense, yes, but you know how you can uh, uh, cure that simple uh, by him, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, probably in the off season in the summer, um, talking and playing, uh, playing for, or playing with defensive minded coaches, uh, veteran NBA players that can help him uh, uh, on his defensive side of things. And, you know, defense, it takes time to uh, uh, develop, develop, um, you know, you, uh, you know, uh, he could be a, a great old school two way player where he's incredible on the offensive end. And he's also good on the defensive end. Um, to me, if he just works on his uh, defenses present, his uh, if he works um, on, um, you know, uh, man recovery. If he works on his blocking, his low post, uh, low post defense, things of that nature, uh, the sky is the limit for this guy. Uh, Car Anthony Towns thinks of him as a wing player because he has the ability of a wing player, and he, mentally he doesn't think of himself as a uh, as a five or or as a four. And like I said, if you trade, if a Tibolo trades Car Anthony Towns now. Uh, they're really giving up a lot of potential there. And I don't see this happening. I think the Minnesota Timberwolves uh, are talking about it, but I don't think they're going to go through with it unless Carl Anthony Towns come to them and say, I'm not going to resign with you guys. And I don't see that either. Um, if, if anything, I think Tibolo got one more year. And if he can't take them to the promised land, if he can't, at least advance them further in the playoffs, then you're going to see uh, Tibolo uh, lose his job. Now, I'm going to, before I end this video, I'm going to tell y'all this, guys. It would not shock me nor surprise me if Tibolo is let go uh, this offseason and they replace him with uh, a Jason Kidd. I think Jason Kidd has great experience with younger players, developing younger players. And I think uh, those younger players in the Minnesota Timberwolves will love to play for Jason Kidd because it's like a breath of fresh, uh, fresh air. I think Tibolo is, he's the type of coach for older veteran players, you know? Um, and, you know, like I said, it really depends if it really depends on the mechanisms of what transpires this this uh, playoff series. Uh, if the Cleveland Cavaliers get bounced uh, this uh, uh, series and the Cleveland Cavaliers organization is trying to uh, make deals with LeBron to stay. And like I said in several uh, videos, I don't see LeBron James uh, going anywhere else. Yeah, I see the Lakers connection and things of that nature. Uh, but he has more control. Of, he has more control and flexibility with the Cleveland Cavaliers organization, um, and I, I think Magic Johnson will give him some type of influence, but not enough like he had with Cleveland. And he's going to miss that overall. And if the Cleveland Cavaliers do not make it into the finals, some heads are going to be rolling, and the first head is going to roll is a uh, Ty Lue, um, and they're going to want a coach with veteran who who coach with veteran players and Tibolo would make an excellent fit there. Now, 
Here's the problem with Thibodeau with the, with the Cleveland Cavaliers. I think uh, him and LeBron are going to bump, uh, bump heads with each other during the season. But at the same time, uh, Thibodeau will stand up to LeBron. Even, uh, you know, you know, as far as where the team should uh, advance and uh, schemes, defensive schemes, offensive schemes, Tibolo is a uh, is an incredible defensive minded coach. And you're going to need a defensive coach uh, for the Cleveland Cavaliers, because if they lose, they're going to lose because of the lack of defense. Now, the past couple of days with the Cleveland Cavaliers, it improved somewhat but it's still way behind the average way behind the norm okay but guys tell me what you think rate comment subscribe it's your boy i'm chris the dom one and i am out of here